Lead magnets in Kajabi are so powerful to you growing your email list, which helps you grow your business. Kajabi gives you a ton of automations as well that you can pair with your lead magnets when offering them in your content to get people on your list. And what I want to do in today's video is show you how I'm using a lot of the powerful automation Kajabi offers and give you some things to think about strategically to grow your business when you're pushing people to your email list, because this is probably the most important thing we do week to week in our business is get people on our list. So I'm gonna oh, take you behind the curtain, show you how I'm using a lot of these automations when it comes to my lead magnets. Graham Cochran here, happy to bring you another Kajabi tutorial. If you're looking around and trying out Kajabi and haven't signed up for a free trial yet, forget the 14 days that Kajabi offers you. Consider using my link. Yes, it's an affiliate link below. I'm gonna get you a 30 day free trial, which gives you more time to play with it. I'm also gonna send you a free mini course right away. Today It's called Ready, Set, Kajabi. Some of my best training on how to get up and running in Kajabi quickly so you can launch something during that free trial and make money while you're using Kajabi for free, including some of my favorite ninja marketing tactics in Kajabi. So you get that the moment you sign up with my link. And if you stick around to become a paying Kajabi customer after the 30 days, two cool things happen. One, part of your payment every month comes back to support this channel at no cost to you. And so my way of saying thank you is I wanna offer you another course. It's my three-step sales copy formula mini course. All you gotta do is forward me your receipt once you become a paying Kajabi member and I will get you that mini course. If you already have Kajabi, I love you too. We love Kajabi, we're the same, we're kindred spirits. So let's dive in to Kajabi and I wanna show you a few different things. First, I wanna take you through sort of the user experience of a lead magnet with me. So I build landing pages. So I go to the pages section, landing pages. I build landing pages for my opt-in. So for example, I have a lead magnet called my six-figure course checklist. And so all this is is a landing page inside of Kajabi. And so it says free PDF, get the six-figure online course checklist and learn the four steps to building and selling highly profitable courses online. It's a one simple headline. It's a simple opt-in form. Where should we send the guide? Um, and they just enter in their email address and click send me the guide. Um, we let people know as well, hey, when you sign up, you're also signing up to be on our list. So you're gonna get free weekly emails that they can unsubscribe for. They need, they need to know that they are also joining your email list and not just getting a download. So I just put a simple line there and that covers us because that's what they're signing up for. Of course, everybody can unsubscribe. A couple things here to think about. One is I'm not asking for their name. I get that question a lot. I don't bother asking for their name because it's just more friction. It's just one more thing for them to type in and I don't need their name. I just want their email address and they just wanna give their email address. It's faster, it's frictionless. So I only ask for email. Number two is with this form, I don't know if you've done this before, but this, to make these landing pages that have an opt-in form, they wanna know what form you're hooking them up with or signing up for. And so I've chosen the form here, opt-in form, and it says, which form do you want? I've chosen six figure online course checklist. And let me show you where that is. So if we go back, the forms are under the marketing tab, under forms, right? And so they're all here. Six figure course checklist is right here. And you just create this once. And so you're gonna get a couple of settings. A, what form fields I only need email. But this is another question to get, Graham, double opt-in or single opt-in? I do single opt-in. When I started an online business, I had MailChimp for my email marketing and they only offer double opt-in. Double opt-in is a pain in the butt. The benefit to double opt-in is that, you know, they opt in and then they have to go check their email and get an email from you and they have to confirm that they want to opt in by clicking a link in that email. It shows that the email address is correct. It shows that it was delivered. It shows that they really want it. So the benefit is you get a, a, a tighter list that's really more engaged people. The negative is it's more friction, again, for your people. For them to get the lead magnet, they have to go do more stuff. I'm not a fan of making it harder for my people to get what they want. It, it sort of, to me, ruins the experience a little bit with operating with my brand. So I much prefer single opt-in, which it makes it so easy. They opt in and they immediately get the thing. So I choose single over to up double. There's no right or wrong here, but just so you know, you're gonna have to make that choice. And then two things are gonna happen. One, you have automation below that. When this form is submitted, you can do a couple things. There's two things that I suggest you do, two automations to create when they opt into this form. And you do this on the form level. One is 
when they opt in, then subscribe them to an email sequence. Okay, that's the when and then. And that email sequence should be your main funnel. A funnel is a pre-written series of emails that over delivers, adds value, and then it pitches your product. So if, even if you have a basic five-day email funnel, email sequence that teaches for a couple of days and then offers your product on day three, four, and five, whatever that email sequence is, when they opt into that form, you should have the automation set up to subscribe them to that email sequence, okay? And ideally, I have this email sequence start the next day, but it could always start that day with an immediate email if you want, with an over deliver, that's fine. But either way, create the sequence first in the marketing section of Kajabi, and then you just create an automation here. So when they opt into this form or subscribe to this form or submit this form, subscribe them to an email sequence. The second thing I do is I have, when this form is submitted, send an email. And this is what I do. This is the email I send. Let's edit this. Okay. This is how I deliver the lead magnet. So. I don't have separate email funnels or email sequences for each lead magnet because I have many lead magnets. I use this automation to send a custom email that says, hey, thanks for signing up. And I can have a custom subject line. I put the name of the lead magnet in the subject line, six figure online course checklist, your download link. And it's just a very simple email. And that link links them to the PDF that either I've attached here because you can attach um, and upload your PDF lead magnets here, or it can be on a landing page, or it can be uh, on your own server or your Amazon server, wherever it is, email it to them here in this one email thing. Very simple. So those are the two automations I always have for each lead magnet. Subscribe them to my email sequence, my funnel, and then send them the email with the download. Now, the other thing I do is after the submission, I don't just... You can you have an option to send them somewhere when they submit the form. Where do you want to send them? A lot of times it's just a generic thank you page. I don't want to waste the best opportunity you have, which is the thank you page. The thank you page after somebody opts in is the only thing that 100% of your email list will see. It's the only, think about this. It's the only thing 100% of your email list will see because A, they may not ever check their email. B, they may have entered in a bogus email or a typo. A lot of times people just mistype their email. So they'll never get the emails or see the emails, but they will see that thank you page no matter what they type into that opt-in form. So this is the only time to capture 100% of that audience, those people who have sort of raised their hand and say, hey, I'm really interested in you. So instead of just sending them to a thank you page that says, thank you, here's your lead magnet, or thank you, check your inbox, or thank you, please go confirm in your email. Like Instead of wasting your opportunity on that, offer them something. So I send them to a thank you page. And let's go back to the thank you page. What is that thank you page? Well, there's a lot of things. You can offer them an over deliver. Like, hey, thanks for opting in. Here's another bonus gift. I've done that by offering people a chance to go to a webinar that's free. So it's like an over deliver. And on that webinar, I offer a product. Or you can do something like offer them a, a application form to get a free 20 minute coaching call with you, right? A discovery call. So they can apply to get a little bit of free coaching from you to see if maybe you want to work together. Or you can offer them a low ticket product. Okay. So when people opt in for a lot of my lead magnets, they get taken to this page. We'll open it up here. Okay. So it says at the top, awesome. I just emailed you your training, check your inbox, but I wanted to make you a special offer. Okay. I know that they're going to, A, this is generic language because I use this one page for all my PDF lead magnets. So I said, I emailed you your training, check your inbox. And I did email them because I have an automation. Remember that one that delivers the lead magnet? So the lead magnet is not here. They have to go check their inbox for it. But I know they're going to see this, so I want to offer them something. So I'm, in this case, offering them a mini course. And I have a headline, launch your first $1,000 course. And it is my $1,000 online course blueprint. It's a mini course, right? This guy, Matt, says, I bought your 1K course. It helped me create 997 for my first online workshop, which is awesome. Um, and it's only 37 bucks. So I, I'm offering them a really steal of a deal. It's a little bit of a mini sales page, a little bit of sales copy. Here's what you're gonna get. Actually, multiple things, blah, blah, blah. Here's the value. Here's who it's for, buy it, okay? So this is the thank you page. I'm using a simple, I'm making another landing page and I'm using Kajabi's automation 
to say when somebody submits this form, redirect them to this page so that I can sell them a $37 product, which also has an order bump. So it offers them more, also has an upsell, and it also changes what experience they have with my funnel based off of whether they buy this or not. So it can turn someone who just opted into my list into a customer on day one. So there's a lot of options. You don't have to sell something on your thank you page, but think about what you would offer and should offer. You should offer something, whether it's free or paid, on your thank you page. It's prime real estate in your online business. Now I wanna take you back and show you a little bit more of some automations that are happening. So let's go back to the marketing tab and let's go to my sequences. So I have a bunch of sequences that work together, um, but the first one people are opted into is this 1K blueprint follow-up sequence. This is a newer sequence uh, that I'm testing out. But what I want you to see is um, the triggers. So when you create a sequence, you know how I created that automation on the form when they submit this form, then automate those, subscribe them to the sequence. You can do it there on the form level, or you can do it here um, in the sequence level. So you could add a trigger. You can see when these all these forms are submitted, these are all some of my different PDF lead magnets. Um, these are all triggers. So I could add a trigger here, and now we're, we're at the same automation tab. It's just a different different um, angle. So we already know what the automation is going to be is subscribe them to the sequence, but what's the when? Well, when form is submitted, and then I can go find that form. You know, six figure online course checklist. So I could have created that automation here as well. I just want to show you that there's multiple ways, multiple places to create the same automation. So these are all triggers. If any one of these things happens, they're all going to be subscribed to uh, my email sequence. Now, if you have the mid-tier or higher version of Kajabi, you're going to have conditions, which is pretty cool, but you don't need those to benefit from this powerful stuff. Now, at the end of your sequence, I'm going to show you a different campaign. What I do is I have a sequence here, which is new subscriber sequence 2021. So on this sequence, this settings tab, if we go to the settings tab on your sequences, a couple things can happen. You can have an automation when the sequence is completed. Okay, there's a couple automations. So I recommend, here's how I keep track of people who are in my funnel or out of my funnel. The very last e the very last funnel, if you have multiple sequences taped together like I do, you can do it that way, do it on the last sequence. If you have only one sequence, that's your whole funnel, then you just do it in the settings tab of that sequence and create an automation. So I have that automation here, which is when this email sequence is completed, because that's the automation, what do you want to do, Graham? Well, when it's completed, I want to add a tag. And what I did was I created a tag, because when you click add a tag, if it's not there, you create one. And I added a tag called completed new subscriber sequence. What this is doing, track me with me here, is everyone's going through all my emails in my funnel. And after the five days or seven days or 25 days or whatever it is, when they've gotten the last email, Kajabi is going to automatically ascribe a tag to this person that says, hey, they've completed the new subscriber sequence. Now, when I go to send out my weekly emails to my list or I'm doing a promotion or whatever, when I send out an email, I only send it to people who have that tag. I only send an email to people who have that tag, which looks like this. You go to email campaigns, go to new email campaign, email broadcast, continue. I use the classic editor, test. And then when you edit recipients, instead of all people, I send it to a segment that's completed new subscriber sequence. This is just people who have that tag. And then that will reduce the emails to not go out to everybody. So it will not email people who do not have that tag, meaning it will not email people who are still in the funnel. Because I don't want to email them while they're already getting emails from me in the funnel. I want their experience to be that they only get one email from me a day max. And so this is the way I automatically, without having to think about it, create a seamless experience for people who are in my funnel are only getting the funnel emails and people who are out of the funnel are gonna get my weekly emails and not both. So that's how I do it with tags. Now, one question I get is, Graham, what if I have multiple lead magnets um, and people opt into one and they're going through my funnel and they opt into another, are they going to be subscribed to that same funnel again and now they're getting 
double the emails, or if they've opted into one and have already gotten the funnel, if they opt into it again, the same lead manual, they go back through that funnel a second time. And the, the short answer is no, Kajabi knows if someone has been subscribed to a sequence or not. Um, and they're also tagged, if you follow the tagging system that I do, with a completed new subscriber sequence. But one thing you can do if you're in the mid to upper tier of Kajabi to be triply sure is under the subscribe trigger, you can say when they opt into this form or submit this form, then I want you to subscribe into the sequence, but there can be a condition. And so I just have this condition, they do not have the completed new subscriber sequence tag. This is just a way to triple make sure that like, look, if they opt into this form, it's not gonna subscribe into this the sequence if they already have that tag. They don't know they have that tag, but my system is tagging them if they've completed the funnel. And so that is the case. They're not gonna be subscribed twice. One final thing you can do as a way to over deliver if you want to to people who join your list is set up an automation that's, that gives them an offer, grants them an offer. So if you go to the automations tab, you don't ever have to visit the automations tab, but this is the easiest and fastest place to just create a generic automation without having to go find where it is in the actual Kajabi backend. So you can click new automation and then it can be when blank, then blank. So you could say when form is submitted and we could say like when my 30 day uh, online income jumpstart form is submitted, then I want to grant an offer, okay? And the offer is like for a, a whatever offer, this, this could be a course, this could be one of your products, this could be a free course, whatever you want, you can set up this automation and it'll send them an offer grant email. So it's like, hey, you've been granted this offer and it can be like just a bonus over deliver. So now anytime somebody joins your email list, not only are they gonna get to subscribe to your funnel and they're gonna be get the lead magnet itself, but they are gonna be getting, given a free course or a free mini course or whatever you want. All of that can be controlled here as a simple automation. There's just so much power when it comes to the form being submitted because that is a trigger for almost anything you can think of. So there you have it, just some powerful automation tools inside of Kajabi when it comes to your lead magnets, thinking about opting people in, getting pe people to subscribe, and getting people to then be maximized while they're in your funnel. There's so much power at your fingertips, and what I want you to think about, though, is the flow. When somebody hears about your lead magnet in your video, in your podcast, and they click on the link, and they're excited about it, and they wanna opt in, what a, is their experience with opting in? And B, what is the journey from there? What do they see the moment they opt in? What page are they redirected to? What emails are they get? do they get? What subscriber sequence or new subscriber sequence are they subscribed to? Um, how are you tagging people and, and why? And what is the purpose of that tag? Um, and then how do you wanna over deliver if at all once people submit that form? All of this could be overwhelming if you've never done it before, but just do one little thing at a time. Just think through what you would love for the experience to be, and then Kajabi's automation can help you do it. If you haven't tried out Kajabi, again, check out my affiliate link below, grahamcochran.com slash Kajabi. It's the best way to start Kajabi because your price is the same whether you use my link or Kajabi or anyone else's, but you're gonna get more from me, 30-day free trial, up to two mini courses, and my undying love and support, which is pretty awesome. So check it all out at the link below, grahamcochran.com slash Kajabi. If you have any other Kajabi questions, let me know in a comment below as well. I'm doing Kajabi tutorials all the time. I wanna help you out and make sure that you are maximizing this incredible tool so that it grows your business. Have an amazing day and I'll see you on another Kajabi tutorial soon.